Hey there, it's time for another rant. This time I'll focus on YouTube itself. And trust me when I say there's going to be plenty to talk about. But let's start from the beginning, shall we? On Valentine's Day 2005, three former PayPal employees founded YouTube, a video sharing website. People liked the site and business boomed. Things went well until companies decided to take down our videos, which still unfortunately continues on to this day. Now. The first thing that comes to my mind here is the ads Google puts up on much of our videos before the video even starts. I know the purpose is to reel in more ad revenue, but it's not like we don't see them enough on television. When we click on a video, we just want to watch it and not be interrupted by an ad that will definitely drive someone up the wall. It really upsets me when you can't even skip it unless you're forced to trudge through it until it's finally over. This can take from a few seconds to nearly a minute or two. I mean, that's really derisory. YouTube is a website, not a freaking TV channel. Do us a favor and take those off. Thank you. Another thing that bothers me are the site maintenances. They prohibit you from doing anything from like commenting, favoriting, subscribing, etc. until under the excuse that be cool, we'll be back 100% soon. Well, how can we be cool if you force it upon us without notice and make very unnecessary changes to the site? One such maintenance led to the changing of our traditional 5-star rating system to the stupid like and dislike buttons that we live with today. Thus, the only way to tell how good a or bad a video is can be determined by the number of likes and dislikes a video has. It's easier to try to walk a mile in Ren's shoes as he has to lead the entire world away from pollution, all the while trying to maintain his sanity and balancing a glass of water on his nose. Is that necessary to change that frequently only to screw up the site even more? What's going on over there? Are you suddenly becoming like Google, where they pretend they are omnipotent? It seems the way to many of us. Stop with the damn updates. Listen to us. Now, I've already mentioned the issue of copyright bullcrap on YouTube, but in case you missed it, companies overlook the fair use clause given to us by section 107 of the Ni Copyright Act of 1976. Thus, they try to make us look weak and like thieves by removing fair use videos that don't pertain to them at all. Now, even if we had complaints to send to YouTube, there's no way we can contact them that doesn't require acquiring a freaking $1,000 airplane ticket to San Bruno, California. For the next update, because they obviously will have one, maybe they should make a feature that sends complaints to the head honchos of YouTube and must be obliged for them to respond to the user complaints. That way we won't be in this much epidemic. Unfortunately, only time will tell when it'll happen. But be patient, my friends. It could happen eventually. That is all I have to say here. Bye for now.